The importance of uh, protein quality for human nutrition is uh, in the battle of food security. Protein is uh, the most limiting uh, macronutrient and quality comes in the equation. So the higher the quality of a protein, the less you need to eat. If you look at, uh, at the quality uh, of proteins and the way uh, we measure that, that is uh, normally done by the PDCAS, uh, and most recently by the DIAS method. And you can see that, um, that the, the quality of a, a, um, animal protein like milk is around 1.3, 130 percent, and the quality of, uh, of wheat is, for instance, 40 percent, and of soy is around uh, 92 percent. So there is a difference between uh, plant proteins and, uh, and animal proteins. Although uh, cows are a little competing with human food, not much, because a cow uh, does eat less percent, less than 10 percent of the feed of a cow is competing with human food, that is cereals and, and soy, and the rest is grass and uh, other byproducts uh, from feed and food chains we will not or don't want to, want to eat. So in fact, uh, uh, if you look at the human edible part of a cow feed, uh, a cow is an, uh, an ideal converter of uh, non-human edible uh, products into a a product of with high nutrient density. So there are two ways to look of it. So not all grassland can be converted to uh, arable land for soy or uh, other products. So there are parts in the world where cereal production is better and there are parts in the world where cows are better off. If the uh, estimated milk production uh, increases by 50 percent, that's what the FAO uh, is currently uh, saying, then uh, you need to, in my opinion, you need to increase the productivity of a cow. So uh, at the moment there are about 350 million cows in the world uh, producing on average less than 3,000 kilograms of milk uh, per year. If you double that, you can do with far less cows and, that, and lesser cows generate lesser uh, greenhouse gases. Uh, so increasing productivity is probably the most important uh, mitigation strategy for uh, uh, protecting the ecosystem.